count on me You can follow me Whenever you feel lonely You can always call on me Call on me You can follow me Whenever you feel lonely On another episode of Keeping Up with Queen P I know what I lost Fucked up and it came with a cost so first up you will be using coconut oil as a primer this usually helps to apply the makeup smoothly last year this was 89 dollars in checkers but right now this is like 109 to get this jar of coconut oil so a bit pricey though Second is my eyebrows. My eyebrows are really trimmed in this video, specifically for this video to show you a sleek eyebrow look. But anyways, brushing eyebrows, actually brushing the eyebrows allows one to see the natural arc of the eyebrow clearly. The eyebrow pencil was $15 when I got it last year in Town Square. So what I do is I draw right under the eyebrow and when I say right under the eyebrow, I mean exactly under the eyebrow hair. Remember in primary school when they used to say color in between the lines? Yes, exactly that. Also, always make sure to sharpen your pencil and get a brown eye pencil. But then after I draw above, but only halfway through the brow, there's no specific reason as to why I do that. Then after that, you fill in the eyebrow like if you're coloring in a coloring book. Girl by your side, not be my home. Never meant to hurt you, it's my fault. Yeah. I know what I lost Fucked up and it came with a cost They say good things never lost So if you didn't get it the first time, I'm gonna say it again Underline the bottom Cover the top Then underline half of the top Once you're done Color like if you're coloring in a coloring book So I'm covering my brows with foundation. I don't have concealer, but foundation can be used as a substitute. I don't know what this thing is called, but it will brush the foundation smoothly on my face to clean up my brows. I got this for $10 with these other two in Townsville also. You then spread the foundation nicely under the eyebrow. Then spread the foundation into the upper corners of the face. This beauty blender was $34.00. It came with two more beauty blenders that I got from those ladies on the street. 
and right now i'm just dabbing the foundation into my skin in order for it to blend in smoothly with my complexion I'm then going in with this foundation that is $50 that I also got in Town Square. This foundation is lighter than my actual skin, so I did not apply a lot of it. But if you have a foundation that matches your shade, you can go crazy with it and but just make sure that you blend it in really well with your skin by dabbing it in with a beauty blender or a brush so because the foundation was not my skin color i had to go down to my neck to tone it out but be careful because that residue can come on your clothes especially if you're wearing light colors like this white collar shirt of mine was filled with makeup I'm also not applying foundation on my forehead because the foundation is not my color and it will show but I do believe that I should invest in a quality foundation. I know the makeup gurus say that it's ghetto to apply makeup with the fingers but when I use my brushes to apply blush, the blush just doesn't stick so well. So I'm using my fingers to apply blush on my cheeks to brighten up my face and add a healthy glow. Again, I got this in Town Square and this was $35. Only once I'm satisfied with the amount of blush that I can see in my face, do I then go in with a makeup brush to blend the blush into my skin. I'm adding a golden eyeshadow in the inner corner of my eye because it draws attention to my eyes. For one, because I like attention, enhances my eyes, making them look larger and adding a touch of glamour to enhance my overall makeup look i'm using the eyeshadow as highlight because my friend took my highlighter and i never got it back so i gotta make do with what i have so i rub a lot at the center of my nose for it to glow and to give that fake natural glow Thereafter, I go to the top part of my nose to add highlighter, then blend it in smoothly. I then add highlighter right above the place where I put the blush, again to bring attention, lift my bone structure, and to enhance my skin tone and obviously blend 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 into my skin and last on the agenda i'm going in with my setting spray i got this for 45 million dollars again in town square but do you see how i'm resisting the water on my face Another tip is to put setting spray on your beauty blender and then dab it into your makeup so that you don't look like me fighting the setting spray. 